So in this video we're going to unbox the Smart Hub Plus and the Smart Wi-Fi Plus which is the booster for the Smart Hub Plus. So we're going to open this up now. It comes with an instruction manual which shows you how to set it up but I'm going to run through some of that in this video now and how to connect it to the Smart Hub Plus booster. So on the left hand side here we have the power cable, the power supply here, it's a different connector to the previous Smart Hub 2 and there's the plug there, it doesn't come with the bit that you need to slide into it and then on the right hand side if you have fibre to the premises you'll just get an ethernet cable but if you have um, still have the copper connection you'll get an ADS cable and a micro filter. So we'll take a little look at this now, so it's uh, like a matte finish to it. Then on the back of the device we have the four Ethernet ports you can use, one WAN port to connect to your ONT, the ADSL port and the phone port if you have digital voice and a USB charging port, the power supply and obviously the on button. On the back here this will show all your credentials, your Wi-Fi, your, your SSID, name and password. And then on the bottom it shows your serial number and then the same information again if you lose your card on the back of the hub. So that's that. So let's take a look at the booster now. So once you open this up, you'll see there's another instruction manual, which tells you what all the lights on the front of the hub mean. So the solid aqua obviously means it's connected. If it's solid orange, it means it's connected, but a bit far away, or it can be flashing red, which means it's not connected. So here it is now. You just have the one ethernet port on the back of here. And then you have the WPS button and the power button. And then over on this side you have the stand for it that you need to clip in. Once you clip it in you just want to give it a firm bash so that it stays connected. And then you have the power cable. So the power cable is like the previous ones where you need to clip in the three prongs for it to work. Just make sure you do this right because I've seen before where it's not done right and people are wondering why it isn't powering on. You just plug it in the back like so. And then it should come with a shorter white ethernet cable that will just fit in like that but mine doesn't seem to have came with one so here i'm going to show you how to connect it to the booster so you want to obviously have them both plugged into a power supply you get the ethernet cable and plug it into the back of one of the green or sorry yellow ports onto both sides so you just plug it into any of the four and then plug the other side into the white booster and then you'll give that if it was me, I'd probably give it 5 or 10 minutes and just go away and do something and come back and it should be fully connected. Apologies, the light is not the best here, but you'll see that on the left and the right hand side it is flashing orange. The, uh, the hub's flashing orange because I don't have it currently connected to the ONT. If it is connected, it should show a solid aqua light on the left hand side. But I'm going to move it here so you can see it a bit better now. So that's it connected. It only took not even 45 seconds or so. And then... Once you leave it in for a while, I think it continues to flash aqua again. And once it goes solid aqua, that's when it means it's fully connected. Once it's been solid aqua for the last time, you can just disconnect the ethernet ports on the back of both devices and then it is fully connected. So I've just sped up the last bit of the process now, just to make sure it's connected. So I'm just removing both of them and then we're going to move over to method two. So for method two, you're going to press the WPS button on both devices. It's on the left hand side of the hub. And then on the back of the white device, it is the one on the right hand side. So once you press both of them, the hub on the left should flash blue. And then the one on the right should pick it up and start flashing aqua. Once it starts flashing aqua, it should go solid aqua within about 30 seconds or a minute or so. So it's going to continue to flash until it stops solid and then once it does it might flash again and then go fully solid and then I'd give it five minutes or so to make sure it's totally connected and then when it is connected you're going to want to place it halfway between the hub and to the furthest point of your house just so that your whole house has complete coverage. I've seen some people report that their devices just continue to flash green even when plugged in. I believe this means that you have a faulty device and you'll probably need to contact your internet service supplier which is obviously e in this case and ask for a replacement to be sent out because i haven't seen a fix for that as of yet 
Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any other questions in regards to this device, please just uh, drop a comment down below and I'll try and get back to you.